So my next project here is I have this shipping container. Now I gotta get the spot ready for where I'm gonna put it. So I'm mostly gonna use the inside for storage and then off the side of it, I'm gonna build a lean-to to get my sawmill out of the weather. So I gotta move the sawmill, clean some of this sawdust and top layer of muddy crap off. And then it's kind of low in there. I gotta spread some fill out and get it ready. And then I plan on drilling, drilling four holes with an auger and pouring like little concrete piers to support the four corners of the shipping container. That's where a lot of the weight is distributed on those. So I'm just gonna get right to it. So I got those grinding spread out and somewhat graded. I will need to get one more load. I'm kind of low all in here, but it's good enough for this project. Now I don't really use that door on my barn often, but I'd like to get uh, grindings all in here, nice and graded. So this is gonna end up being kind of an alleyway in between the shipping container and the sawmill and the barn here. I debated on putting the shipping container and the sawmill uh, like a 90 off the barn but I didn't like because then it was going to close my alley up more so I ended up I like this better where I have it they're going to be parallel with the barn and I have about 25 foot in between here so it, it'll get a little tight when I'm loading really long logs but most of the logs I cut are like 8 to 12 foot long so it shouldn't be too bad. I don't really do a whole bunch of production milling or anything, just some stuff here and there. So I like the way this is better. This is what I'm gonna go with. So I put the sawmill there to get a good visual. Now I need to auger six holes. I'm gonna pour like six concrete piers. So 
four are going to be for the corner of the shipping container and then two out here for the posts of the lean-to that the sawmill is going to go under. Just not sure what the hell that is. I think this is why when you see post hole diggers come up for sale, they're always they're always all mangled. Cool. Yup. Yeah. There you go. There. There. Yeah. Oh. That's fine, that's foundation material. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely found the old barn. I mean, almost every hole. That was the best one. That one, that one came out pretty nice too.
definitely not coming from the air conditioner. I can promise you that. Is that fork gonna stay on there? I feel like it's just gonna rip off. This is the best we could come up with. Oh yeah, oh, get it caught in the this, tire. This yeah. Not, that's not ideal. I need to just get some more height out of it. Let's see what it does, hook it up. Get it above the tire. It doesn't like it. Oh. And we're gonna try it. How sketchy is your side gonna be? Yeah, your side seems way more better than mine. It's not ideal. So we got the container set and I brought the sawmill over to see what it's gonna look like. The container only weighs about 5,000 pounds. It was just a little tricky getting it set on the piers with both machines. I ran into a little bit of trouble squaring it up on the piers because you probably saw when I was drilling them, I kept running into a bunch of garbage and crap. Um, I think there was an old block building or some kind of barn buried here a long time ago so I kept hitting stuff and my holes wandered a little bit so I got them the best they're gonna get that one's pretty good but some of these like this one's half off but it should be fine I'm not gonna put that much weight in this I mean it was designed to hold 71,000 pounds so I think I'll be all right I hope so but I'm parallel to my barn here, so that's what I was more worried about. I still need a little more fill in here. I gotta get up to this pier. It's kind of low over here, and I'd like to get up to the bottom of the container. But you can see how low it is on the backside. It's deceiving on video, but the container is level where it's sitting. But I'm gonna end this video here. In the next video, I'm gonna be putting some steel columns on these front piers and then making a roof structure to connect to the shipping container. Um, so I have a roof over the sawmill here. That was the whole idea. And then eventually I might enclose the whole thing. I don't know yet, we'll see how it goes.